All right, this is build log number one for the Telelite project I'm doing for the studio. Uh, here I have an Arduino Leonardo board. It's a little more powerful than my uh, uh, regular Arduino, my Cduino, my Pro Mini. Um, connected to it, I have a rotary encoder. Now these are, basically they send pulses every time you rotate them in a certain pattern that's easy for a processor to recognize like this guy uh, I don't have part up because I want to show off the start sequence and the encoder in action on one of the functions so if I can find the plug here yep. as you can see it goes through red, green, blue to show you that all the LDs are working uh, and behold uh, the LED is controlled through, uh, right now, just the brightness control through the, uh, through the rotor encoder, uh, routine. It's using interrupts to program those, uh, routines. And, uh, while it's operating the green LED, it'll switch to red when, you know, it's use, you know, when you're on air recording. And if you go too far, you get a nice flash of blue that tells you, hey, you've hit the limit of the encoder. Since uh, being a rotor encoder is no stops. So this way it lets people know, hey, you've gone this far. Maybe you should stop. Uh, also, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I've got uh, this light right here. It's hooked up to the button. Sometimes... When I start this thing up, it doesn't trigger right for that. See, normally it's for programming, uh, indicator. It's also an onboard indicator for various stuff. So, ah, good, it worked right that time. Uh, so if I push the button, the LED lights up right here. Uh, that's telling me just that the button's working properly. Because when I'm done, the button will basically... Uh, switch between this LED for brightness, a second LED for brightness, which I haven't added to the circuit just yet. Um, mainly because I don't have the proper the proper uh, LED picked out for this yet. And for uh, a longer press, which is going to activate a config mode that allow you to set which device it's on. And that will be... Um, Basically, there's going to be uh, basically a, a way to indicate. I haven't decided if I'm going to be using this uh, display yet, or if I'm going to use like flashing of the uh, of the LED yet. In which case, it'd be more like this than the other way, because I want the uh, I want blue to be used for the uh, config mode. It's not perfect. I mean, if you if you turn it just the right way, you hit the notch right before full dim, and not actually full dim. The same probably happens with full bright, but it's harder to tell on that. Um, yeah, so that's where I am right now. It's a lot of code, a lot of random stuff. When I'm done, it is going on this guy which means lots of soldering uh... this basically the arduino pro mini yeah mini uh... this one is three volt so it'll work properly with the uh... uh... with the xps i got for this project sure of course right here um, this pair is actually for personal testing. They're not on the configuration. I'll have them on for production yet. Plus, I tend to reprogram these, like, weekly. Um, <laughs> new toys and all that. Uh, so yeah, that's the status I'm at tonight. That was after three hours coding? Uh... Yeah, it was mixed across some period, but I'm going to call it three hours. Um, 
Yeah, it's like 5 in the morning. Uh, I probably should be sleeping. Or I probably should have been sleeping. But... Uh, happens.